Hello everyone, it's Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards and I'm back with another tutorial using our brand new Christmas bottle. And I'm super excited to be sharing this really nice, quick and easy Christmas card with you today. So for this particular design, we're going to be using the Snowflake Flurry Stamp and Die Set. So I'm going to show you how to create a really lovely Christmas card with this. Um, so within the stamp set, you get your two lovely kind of swirly snowflake stamps. You get some little filler stamps for the background. And then you also get a lovely sentiment on here, which says, friends are like snowflakes each unique and a gift to treasure, which is really lovely. So we're going to be using this stamp set. You do get um, some dies within this collection as well. So you get four different little snowflake designs. So we're actually going to be using the two largest ones. We're using this one and this one on the project tip. Okay then, so we're going to get started. So I'm going to use a piece of our lovely crystal white pearl card to start with. I'm going to give it a little dust over with an anti-static bag like so and then we're going to take our wow clear embossing ink pad we're going to ink up our stamp so the stamp i'm going to ink up first is the lovely large snowflake flourish so lots of tapping all over the image like so Then we're going to place that down onto our card, like so. So you just want to hover and then press. So you want firm, even pressure all over the stamp. Then we're going to lift that off like so. And we're going to cover that with our metallic silver sparkle embossing glitter. So we'll just sprinkle that over like so. You can see it's a really beautiful, beautiful stamp, this one. I'm going to heat this up now. So to do that, I'm just using my Wow Embossing Heat Gun. And all I'm doing is holding the heat gun still. As soon as that embossing powder starts to melt and change, I'm just moving my heat gun over the image like so. Okay, so you can see we've got that lovely embossed image. I'm going to take the little smaller swirl now and ink this design up. And then I'm just going to position it about here. Up there maybe, so on my card. This is the beauty of clear stamps. Of course, you can then see exactly where you're stamping. I'm going to lift that off. And we're going to cover that with the metallic silver sparkle embossing glitter again. Okay, and then we're going to heat that up. So again, just using the heat gun, holding the heat gun still. As soon as you see that embossing powder start to melt and change, you're just going to move the heat gun over the image like so. Okay. Then what we're going to do is just take this smaller stamp off the block and I'm going to take one of the little filler stamps. It's like got little snowflakes and stars on. Just give my card a little dust over again. But ink this stamp up and just dot a couple of these just into the background. Like so. Again, cover with my metallic silver sparkle embossing powder. into the jar and then heat up to set. Okay, so that's our basic kind of topper image all nicely stamped there now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start and embellish this a little bit. So we're going to start by taking some of our gorgeous Diamante Sparkle Glitter and some Art Glitter Dries Clear Glue. I am using it with the metal fine tip. And then all we're going to do is just add some little dots of glue. Okay. 
into the background. I'm not being too particular, just a few little dots. And then we're going to take that glitter, sprinkle it over and tap off the excess like so. Okay, and then you can see that's just added a little bit of sparkle into the background there. What I'm also going to do is just take some little jewels. These are just little nail art jewels that I've had in my craft box for ages. Then I'm going to add a little jewel into the middle of each of the snowflakes, like so. I'm just going to add those in. And you can then see how pretty that then looks. There, one there, and one there. Okay. Then what we're going to do is take in a piece of scrap paper and we're going to just edge along each side here. So I'm going to take in my glass slipper glitter and a chisel tip glue pen. And all we're going to do is just drag that chisel tipped glue pen towards yourself, holding it at about a 45 degree angle. Then that's going to keep that line really nice and straight along the side of your card, like so. We're then going to take our glitter and sprinkle this over. And then any little fingerprints that I've got, I'm going to take my paintbrush and just dust away. You can see how pretty that then looks. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop that to one side. I'm going to grab in my little Gemini die cutting machine. So this is just the Gemini MIDI that I'm using here. And I'm going to take my two snowflake dies. I'm going to cut the larger snowflake out of a little piece of um matte mirror card silver matte mirror and i'm going to cut the smaller snowflake out of a little piece of mirror card so i'm just going to grab some more tap tape just to kind of hold these in place it's going to go on there and that's going to go onto there i'm going to just take my scissors and just roughly trim those down I'm going to pop this, this is my cutting plate for my MIDI machine, pop those in there and then run that through. I love this card as well because it's so quick and easy to make, um, but it looks really effective. Let's move that machine out of the way. It's got little sucky feet, so it kind of sticks to the desk. There we go, that's that one. Pop that one out as well. So we've got these two lovely snowflakes. So what I actually like to do is I like to add a little bit of kind of embellishment to this. Um, so on the base one, what I tend to do is just pop like a little dot of glue onto this bit here. Then maybe just take a little jewel. Just pop that into, into position there. And then what we'll do once we get our card done is we'll layer these up onto here like so. Okay, but I'm going to do the mats and layers first. So what I've done is I've taken a six by eight inch card blank and taken a piece of our beautiful crackle paper from the crackle foiled paper pad. I'm going to stick this down first like so. Okay, and then I've got a piece of silver mirror card and a piece of crystal white card. So what I'm going to do before I stick this one down is I'm going to mat them together. I just want to edge this piece of crystal white card. 
So again, I'm going to use my chisel tip glue pen and my um, glass slipper glitter. And I'm just going to drag along the edge like so. And cover that with my glitter. just see how that's created that lovely little glittery border on there so we're going to take this and mat it onto our card blank so a little bit of glue onto the back of this layer again and then we're going to stick that down onto our card like so and then i'm going to take some foam pads and pop these onto the back of here These are our finger lift foam pads. Again, we've got these available on the website. They are absolutely fabulous. Dead, dead easy to just whiff the backs off. Look at that. Okay, then we're gonna just pop that down into the center our card like so of course if you wanted to you could cut the middle out of that beautiful fall paper as well and use it on another project then got another piece of silver mirror card and our lovely topper so what we want to do is stick these together first and then pop it onto our base card so i'm going to pop foam pads onto the back of here these onto the back like so and then we're just going to whip the backs off of these it's going to get positioned down onto our base card like so so you can see how all the lovely little delicate mats and layers are coming together really nicely now and then we're going to stick this one under here. So to stick this down, again, I'm just going to use a little bit of um, Kalal glue. It looks like I'm using it a lot, but I'm literally just scraping the surface with that glue. Just going to stick that down into place. Now, what you might find is when you heat emboss a piece of card, it can stretch the fibres slightly. So you just need to give it a few seconds just to kind of grab down flat. If you are worried about this, you can, of course, just stick it on with a layer of foam pads. Just going to take a little couple of minutes just to grab obviously i'm sticking it to mirror card as well which isn't really ideal but anyway right so you can see how that's coming together really nicely now i'm going to pop that over to one side and i'm going to grab in another little piece of the crystal white card we're going to give this a little dust with an anti-static bag like so and then we're going to take our sentiment which says snowflakes are like friends, each unique and a gift to treasure. I'm going to take a clear embossing ink pad, ink up the sentiment, place that down and press. Firm even pressure all over the image and we're going to lift that off. Now with my sentiments, I actually prefer to use a super fine embossing powder. So to do this one, I'm going to use metallic silver super fine because the font's quite um, kind of fine and delicate on this one. So we'll sprinkle that over, tap off the excess. I'm going to take a little paintbrush and just brush away like so. It's going to go straight back into the pot. And then I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm just going to heat up this image. So all that I'm doing is holding the heat gun still and moving the heat gun over the image. As soon as it turns to that lovely bright silver, I'm moving the heat gun away. 
And what I'm now going to do is take a guillotine and trim this down. I tend to just do my sentiments by eye, to be honest. Um, I don't tend to kind of measure mats and layers for my sentiments that I do. Okay, I'm then going to just mat this onto a little bit of silver mirror pad. I'm going to mat it with a couple of foam pads on the back. Just pop those down into position. lovely little sentiment plaque. Just bring our card in. It's just lifted a little bit there. Just get that squashed down flat first. There we go. That glue's just starting to grab a little bit now as well, so it'll be perfect. So we're going to pop our little sentiment on just on the side like so. I'm going to use a foam pad just to stick this one down. And then we're going to just layer up this beautiful snowflake. So we're going to use a little bit of Kalal 3D glue gel to do this. So what I tend to do is just squeeze a little blob of glue out. Obviously, if you've got a syringe, that helps massively. And pop that there. And this snowflake die is actually designed to line up perfectly with the stamp as well. So that's that one. We can add a little bit of glue onto the back of here. So now that looks a little bit messy at the moment, but bear with. I'm going to grab a jewel. So I've got these are uh, these are little crystals that we had years ago. So that's, that'll fit perfectly in the middle. Just add a little crystal. So, and then I'm going to add three little jewels just into this top corner here, just because there is a little bit of kind of a blank void space, I guess it would, would be. Three little jewels. I'm going to take these out of the pot. One. Two. And you can see how beautiful that then looks. So that's a really nice, quick and easy card using our beautiful Snowflake Flurry stamp and die set. All of the products used are listed in the description of below and are of course available to buy at www.chloescreativecards.co.uk. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's video and hopefully we'll see you on the channel again soon. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and give the video a like. And of course, you can view our full range on the website, which is chloescreativecards.co.uk. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.